Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Before the video starts, I just want to give a little preface. I don't own a regular Nintendo Switch. I own a Nintendo Switch Lite, meaning I can only record in 30 second intervals. This is why the recording may look a bit choppy. Thank you. Hi everybody, welcome to my island tour. Today we're going to be touring my autumn small town themed island and I hope you're all very excited to do so. Firstly, we're going to start off with the map, of course, and we're going to look at the villages I have and my dream address. So, first of all, we have Lolly, Anka, Tank, Pietro, Lucky, Shino, Shep, Flurry, Marshall, and Egbert. We have Hugo, Hope, and myself, Dante, as the residents as well. So let's get started with the tour. Firstly, we have the main strip of the street, and I'm going to cut to a little bit that I recorded prior to this video because I forgot to show this beach. Oh no, a dead body. That is not the correct emote. Uh, there we go. Oh no, a dead body. Anyway, here is a little fishing area and a place where someone who fishes can sell their wares, like canned sardines and such. And back to the regular tour. So here is the main strip or the main street of the small town. We have some businesses like Able Sisters and we have nooks in the back and this directly leads to the plaza. From the plaza we can go to the next street which is where nooks is held. We also have the museum over this way. Then if we go up here we can see some more houses back here. These are the houses of Hugo and Hope. We're not going to go into them now because they're not decorated, so they don't look very good. But yeah, those are the two houses of the other residents who live there, and they have a little garage. Now we're going to go make our way back to where we were before. Now that we're back at the plaza, let's look at an adjoining addition to the plaza. A little sitting area with some benches and a tree and a little garden. A great place to contemplate life. Now let's head over here. And I don't know why I went the long way around like this. I'm going to have to go back. And if you take this path, you'll end up at the train station. I'm very proud of this build, it took quite a bit of time and effort, but I think it looks really cute, especially with the little trains, and you can actually follow the train tracks to different stopping points of the train. Here we have a train stop, we have a little train here as well, and then up here we have another train stop. Now if we go this way, you're going to see the farmer's market. Let's see what stalls they have. Here we have a little booth for kids toys and plushies. Over here we have a food store. Over here we have a wood crafting store. We then have a fresh fruit and vegetable store. And over here we have, oh, who's in the way? Who is that? Oops. Oh, it's Marshall. Here we have a bread store. Okay, so now that we're seeing all that, let's go and check out the beach. So I like to keep my beaches mostly empty because I like the aesthetic of it. I also like to have the room to fish. But here we have a little dancing area, kind of like one of those holiday beaches where you see those little platforms where you can go dancing. So here we have the reception desk where you can check your tickets. We have a little sitting area if you get tired of dancing. 
And then we have the dance floor where you can bust a move and show off your skills. And then over here we have the DJ booth and a little confetti cannon. Okay, now let's check what's on the other side of the island. So here is another adjoining section of the town, which is just suburbs and houses. Up here, I believe we have Shep's house. Yep, and let's go save his home. Here's Shep's home. I wanted to keep the island homes very minimal and I wanted to keep in theme with the colouring of the islander. So here we have a mostly brown muted tone home and I think it's really cute and minimalist and suits Shep's style. Okay, let's continue looking in the suburban area. Over here is... Pietro's house and he's not home so unfortunately we can't look inside. And if we go up here, we'll find Tank's home, and he is home, so let's go inside and see what his house looks like. Again, I wanted to go with a minimalist theme. There's Tank, he's crafting. We have dark browns and greens, because green is one of Tank's favourite colours, and I think it just looks really cute and simple. I'm really proud of the design of this house. I also really like the back balcony I made there. Now let's go right and see Lucky's house. And Unk is here too. Lucky's house is also very simple, very minimalistic, lots of dark colours because he's a white and black coloured villager. And I think it looks really cute. Now let's check the beach. Here on this rock formation, I made a little marketplace for fish and I also put a little lighthouse and I think it looks really cute. Over here, I left it mostly bland and bare with a little tree there. Now let's look at these little sitting areas. I think these turned out so cute. They're really simple, but they definitely add something to the suburban area, making it feel more homey and more lived in. Alright, now let's go up here and check more of the island. I planted a lot of trees around here and I really enjoy this leafy pathing. It looks super cute and I love the colours. Over here is the main attraction of my small town, which is a mountain, Mount Bitopia. We have a little sitting area before you get to the mountain and there's a little sign declaring the mountain before you go up. And then up here is the mountain. You have a little tent for you to camp on the mountain. And then here's the main camping area. We've got a bonfire, we've got another tent here. We've got a camping kitchen. We have a tree, another tree, and then we have a little sitting area for you to enjoy the bonfire. And here is where a visitor would come to visit the island. Now over here is the more rural area of the small town, because every town has an adjoining rural area. Here is the secret beach, again, I left it plain. Here is Flurry's house, why don't we go take a look inside since she's home. Flurry's home again is quite minimal with a more blue theme because 
I'm pretty sure her original roof is blue, so I wanted to make it a cute baby blue theme with some dark brown accents, and I think it turned out really cute. I think it suits her a lot. She has the pumpkin patch, some corrugated iron fence, and some barbed wire fencing, because I see that a lot in suburban rural farmhouses. Over here we have yet another house. I can't even remember whose house this is, so I think Marshall's maybe? And over here we have two more houses. I know this one's Egbert's house. Oh, there he is, fishing. Look at him, what a cutie pie. And over here we have a big lake where I'm guessing they pump the water to get into their houses because it's a rural kind of farmy area. And over here we have where suburban meets rural and we have some more suburbia rural houses. Over here is where Shino lives. And here is Anka's house. I wish I could show you the inside because it looks really cool, but if you want to check it out, you can go to my dream address. Now what small town is complete without a small town graveyard? I'll show you the full thing and then I'll show you some of the graves. Here is the benches and the statues and the flowers. Over here we have Cephalobot, Apollo and Klaus. Then over here on this side we have Barbara, Gigi and Nan. Then over here we have Octavian, Audie, Sterling and Gail. I have like three of Gail's photos because she just kept giving me her photo for some reason. Over here we have Philbert, Keating, Alice and Mott. And I know it's a bit morbid but I feel like no small town is complete without their own little cemetery so I hope you enjoy this build. Okay, now let's make our way down to the beaches. So on this beach it's mostly clear, but here we have a little deck for you to keep your boats. I don't know what you'd call this, a harbour. But we have some little fish buckets here as well. And if we go over here we'll see the dock. Now the dock is really cute, I've got a little stall here, it's like Cap'n is selling his wares or something. And there's a little umbrella for you to cover yourself from the heat, from the sun. And if we go up, you can see my beaches are, again, mostly empty. But we have a little something at the very end of the beach, which I think is quite special. Up here, we have another little market stall area. We have a cute little place for you to cook fish. We have a cute little place that sells vegetables and sells casseroles. Then we have a little cart with a big jug of milk, I guess. And now we're back at my house and we can finally do a tour of the inside of my home. So let's go inside and see what it's like. Here is the main room. I wanted to go for a more simplistic design with some light colours. Over this wall we have some cute furniture and then peeking behind the wall we have a lamp and a fireplace with a candle on top. I love this room and I think that the wall decorations make it look really cute and homey. Okay, let's check out the room on the right side. Here is the kitchen. I think this looks super cute. We have a lot of open space, we have a cute little table, and over there we have like a walk-in cupboard for you to take out some food and for you to look at what snacks we have. And here we have the left side room. This is just an office and it's filled with villager photos. 
I have a goal to collect the photo of every villager in the game, including getting special NPC photos by making them houses in the Happy Home Paradise DLC. I have even more photos in my storage. <laughs> And up here, upstairs, is my bedroom. We have a little walk-in closet over here, and some furniture that fits a nice beige theme. I really love this turkey day mat, I think it's so adorable. And it definitely suits the vibe and colour scheme of everything here. Here's a little magazine shelf, if I want to read a little bit. And let's go to the basement. Down here is my bathroom slash laundry. I think it looks utterly adorable. Here is the laundry over here. Over here is the shower with the medicine cabinet and the sink. And over here is the toilet. Very nice. And here we have some twin baths so you can have a romantic bathing session with your loved one. And that concludes the tour of my island. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Bye!